First off, congrats on making it this far. You've learned all of the basics of creating Node.js code steps, working with workflows, and now you're ready for the most advanced concept, which is building your own components for use in your personal account, in your organization, or just sharing with the general public on our public registry. So first we'll install the Pipedream CLI tool. This is your gateway to ship your components and develop your code to your Pipedream account or your organization account. Let's start us off within the Pipedream documentation at pipedream.com slash docs. And under the reference area, you can see there's a CLI section. We can just open this and we can choose the way we'd like to install the PD CLI. There's many different options depending on the type of operating system you're using on your computer. I myself am using Mac and I like to use brew, so I will choose this method for this video. But if you're a Windows user, no problem. You can use the Windows native or the Windows Linux subsystem for your computer. Last but not least, if you're using a exotic flavor like ARM, you can download pre-built binaries that just work on your environment. Just make sure that it's available in your path so that way you can type in the correct command and it becomes registered in your path. Now I've opened up a terminal where I can paste in the brew command to install the PD CLI tool. PD means pipe dream for short. Just issue this command and brew will go out and install this CLI tool. That might take you a few minutes, but after you've installed it, you should be able to use the PD command in your terminal. Perfect. So you can see the list of all the commands that are available for you to use with a PD CLI tool. The first thing we need to do is log into our Pipedream account. So I'm going to type in PD login. This will open a brand new browser window for you to log into your Pipedream account. Once you've logged into your Pipedream account, you'll see that it'll automatically update with a status saying you've logged in. Now what this did is it created a file under your home path called config Pipedream config. Now this is important to note because we can use this to add multiple profiles to our PDCLI tool. So let's say for example, you have a personal Pipedream account you'd like to use for your own workflows, and then you also have a work account. Well, we can easily add it just by defining a profile here in the config. So I'll go into insert mode here, and I'll define a new profile just called work in double brackets, and then I'll set the API key to a fake one for now. Just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to quit and save this file. Now I can use the pd-p and define a work profile to do other commands like list sources, list actions, or deploy code, for example. Last but not least, you may want to log into a organization account rather than just another single user account. Well, to do that, we'll head on back to the Pipedream dashboard. And here you can see I'm logged under my personal account. I'll switch my context to my team account or organization account and open the settings area. Under the settings area, you'll see a programmatic access section, and you can copy the org ID and API key you would need for your profile. So I'm gonna copy my org ID, and I'm going to reopen my config file under my home path, and define the PD uni profile, and just call it org ID equals my org ID, and my API key as the API key in the settings area. Save and quit. Now that my PD uni profile has been created, I can use it to run commands as. So for example, I can run PD list all of the resources in my uni account. So profile equals PD uni. Now there's no components registered yet, but you could use this. As an example, I'll just list out my components in my personal account and you can see the whole list of all the deployed components that I've created. Now this was a very simple video and just getting you installed and set up using the PD CLI tool, but it's necessary for you to use this tool in order to develop components and publish them to your personal account, your team account, or your work account.